Hey everybody, it is me, Jen, and I'm here to celebrate the brand new Sims 4 package update. This is the addition of Vitiligo into the game. I like when The Sims incorporates different skin textures, different realistic assets that help our Sims become more realistic and more diverse. I think that is just such a fantastic situation. So I just wanted to say, hey, if you want to get this latest update, all you need to do is turn on your game, boot it up. You're going to get a notice that says, hey, there's a package. Do you want to restart your game? Click to restart. And then when you restart, boom, you got it here. If you want to be able to give your Sims the look of Vitiligo, uh, what you need to do is go into the body because it's going to be face and body are separate, just so you guys know. They did as much as they could, in my opinion, to be able to customize it and make it look as unique as they can, I, I believe. So what we're going to do is if you want to go into that you're gonna go into skin detail, hold on right there, skin detail. Click on that, this is where you're gonna find skin detail. There's gonna be lots of different types of areas of the body where you can have vitiligo. There's another look over there. There's just all different kinds. They do sort of blend in with these birthmarks. Oh, wait. Oh, there you go. These are those other birthmarks that they had introduced in the game a while ago. So it's kind of similar to those. So there's different vitiligo uh, aspects. You can have the back, the chest. There's different designs. You can have the arms. There's different designs. That's when it's more focused toward the hands, but there's different types of designs. And then they also have legs over here. So you can give your Sims unique patterns and I guess try to match up with your own or possibly just create different interesting looks. And then we are gonna go into the face. If you go into the face, we have, if you go into face right here, we're gonna go into skin details. No, sorry, wrong place. There you go, wait, wrong place, sorry. Skin details right here, right here, skin details. And if we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna to start to see pop up the new different skin details. And they have lots of different ones that you can choose from. So um, you can't layer them to my knowledge. They are just what they are. I don't believe that you can layer them, but I could be wrong. But uh, there's different kinds, different variations, and I think that they are very interesting. I think that they did a fairly good job. I know that it is sometimes difficult and challenging to replicate a specific skin issue, but I think they did the best that they could. So I'm going to show you guys what vitiligo looks like on different skins of different skin tones. This is a deeper skinned sim, so the look is a little bit more pronounced. Here I have a sim of a lighter skin tone color, and she has the vitiligo, and it is a little bit less pronounced. And then over here I have a sim that is more of a medium skin tone, and so this is what it looks like. Actually, I'm going to try something right now that I just thought of. Uh, and I'm going to try this on a skin tone that is a little bit unique. So there you go. So that's what it would look like if you used it on a sim that was a bit of a different skin tone that is not a natural skin tone that would be found in nature. Huh, I think that's really interesting. I like this because if you have a vampire they can have vitiligo too. I think that's really interesting. I, I really like that they carried that over here. I think that looks really, really beautiful. The Sims anniversary is today, so they do like to give something different every time they hit a milestone anniversary. And I'm going to say this is the best thing they've given so far. So we're still hoping for that heart-shaped massaging bed. Come on, Sims team, don't let us down. But this is definitely a very good asset. And I think that this is absolutely going to make everybody's game more diverse, more unique, 
and uh, it's always great to be able to create unique sims or be able to create sims that look like people in your life or celebrities that have this skin condition. I just wanted to make a little video showcasing the new update and talking about it and let me know what you think about it. Are you excited to have Vitiligo in the game? I know that this has been a much requested asset for quite a while so I am glad to see that it's finally here. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care and I'll see you next time.